All right. Oh, halflings. Interesting. We'll see definitively who's the best. Goblins or halflings in this match? Maybe not. Uh, he's got 220k in the bank. So his TV is actually lower than 850. Or his, his players. So he didn't spend his money, did he? Um, he could have bought like a... He could have bought an enhancement. He could have made that level two, and then he wouldn't. He would have got more money. Um, but let's see what he gets. Yeah, we do really. Uh, we do TLC. Uh, Ah, hello, Johnny Derp. Yeah, fair enough. You could have conceded because it's just the beta, isn't it? Like, but um, but thanks. <laughs> yeah, there isn't a beast rage sound. No, there should be. Yeah, September fifth. Chef and a babe. Oh yeah, eight fifty halflings and one thousand gums both get matched at eleven fifty. Yeah, that's true. TLC. Though, of course, I had a win, so I was getting matched at 1,200. Um, oh, hello, Crumsley. It might not be delayed. You never know. Hopefully it doesn't seal too many rerolls. Got four, though, so... Nah, I don't like bribes, to be honest. Like, he plays 40k anyway, so the bribe isn't particularly good value, is it? <laughs> yeah, Grumsley. <it comes>, <laughs> yep. That's the highlight of Blood Bowl. It does keep them around, but I just don't think secret weapons are good. <laughs> so, you know. Yeah, do you know what, Johnny Derp? I thought that as well. I thought the fact that you had completely given up. I thought, do you know what? I, oh, shit, lose three. I thought maybe I should score here afterwards, after after it was too late. I thought, shit, maybe I should have, uh, maybe I should have scored on 15 and got the concession too. Putting trolls to get beat down isn't very good, is it? Um, so there's a good chance of losing three players and just have the Fnatic do nothing, though. So maybe put the Fnatic back here. Trolls are on the nine, regen. Should be able to take it. He'd have to push him, knock him down, and blitz him with an assist or something. If I bench the ball on chain, he probably doesn't get to play. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, I know LOS, yeah. It'll be block. Block. It wouldn't be easy for him to hit him there. I'm going to put him on, see what happens.
plus it's hypnotic, isn't it? Which is good. It's worth it just to be able to look at him. Wow, that's a pretty good kick. That's a pretty good kick. Oh wow, now he gets to take it out the fucking thing. Wow, that's fucking stupid, isn't it? What a stupid kickoff result that is. <laughs> Brilliant. So dumb. Right, you can one dice and count. It's still a GFI, but even if he one dices him, he's 50 50 to take him out, isn't he? I think he'll just one dice him. Pretty unlucky start. Hopefully, he just skulls rerolls skulls. He's got a he's got a reroll as well, so he's seventy five percent at knocking down. You'll absolutely blitz him. Wow, what a stupid kickoff result. Cost me my fanatic. <laughs> well, there you go. I knew it was a little bit risky. Oh, double skull. Oh no, he survived. Phew. Unbelievable, Jeff. Saw the tree, so he gets killed. Like it's a shame that souls don't do anything against trees, isn't it? Building away and cross out. It's so shit that, that chainsaws should fuck up trees. Yeah, so you know, it's a joke, isn't it? Throw a rock is so bad. Such a bad rule. Right, let's go. Let's go see what the fanatic does. See behind the fucking tree. So, 
could blitz him and then foul. If I power him. But not with a chainsaw. Have to keep him safe. Could just stand up and get banged on. Pushed him down. Oh, I could have pushed him down. Why did I push him that way? I wanted to keep him in front, I guess. But, but yeah, I pushed him down into a massive gang foul. was way better. Wow, I was really stupid then. Fuck's sake. Maybe just foul with the chainsaw, then he gets to block him. Run blitz with the chainsaw. And then he gets to block him, and then maybe protect the, uh... Protect the Fanatic. Don't have rerolls though, that's the problem. Well, that would have been a disaster for the chainsaw guy, so... What do, team do I enjoy the most? Using Amazons, because they're easy wins. <laughs> um, but like, I don't know, the mixed teams, I think the mixed teams are cool. But the biggest thing is, uh, for me, is the the editor and res formats. Oh, this isn't one die straight away, wasn't it? That was easy for him, I should have moved another guy in. We still got a 4 plus to stand up and GFI, so maybe he won't try to blitz. Wow, really, Sergeant Audrey, thank you. But yeah, I should have just fouled, shouldn't I? Oh, wow, he got the stand-up and got the GFI. And got the skull. <laughs> Come on, double skull it. Ah, oh, you cunt. That was, that was a pretty lucky play, just quietly. 2-4, two, 2-4 four, two, four to get that. I was pretty lucky. But yeah, I should have moved more guys in to protect him. Too easy for him, wasn't it? Too easy for him to get that one dice. After the uh, after the troll failed, I should have expected the troll to fail. And just one man. Yeah, pushed him in one square. Very good call by Fiction. Oh, good. 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 I guess that troll should have just blitzed, to be fair. I can always one dice the ball, I guess. Should just blitz with a troll because wasn't gonna re-roll that anyway. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on 
Yeah, obviously, yeah, the poor girl. Obviously, the poor girl. Yeah. He's the leader of the. He's the leader of the. Crew. Leader of the gang. Pretty, pretty good cage he's got. <laughs> Chainsaw's just shit though, isn't it? To be honest. Chainsaw shit, fanatic shit. Not really a fan of goblins. It's good that they're armor seven though. It is good that they're armor seven. But uh, that's about it. And movement six as well. But I really, I really don't like chainsaws. It's too risky. But if I throw a gobble at his cage, my gobble will die. So what's the point? I could I could try to uh, one dice the ball, which works one in three kind of. But if I blitz with a him with a troll, I guess I could blitz a troll up here. Face the ball, that's my best bet. You block his little shit head on the six All of this surf moves first crap is for hours. Now nah, I gotta I gotta play the team properly. I can't just you know, can't just go ahead. Wow, what a mad cunt. He's not blitzing the troll. He's just relying on a one in nine dodge. Or he's gonna blitz the troll with a halfling maybe, but No, it's awful blob skills. Like yeah, it should be, but it's awful. It's awful, because it needs to roll an 8 plus to do anything. And if it doesn't do anything, he gets fucking three dice by a fucking tree. Who just kills him. Instantly. Instant death. If he gets hit by a tree. So. That's the problem. <laughs> it would be really good if trees didn't fight back. He'll take me. He can't take the boat down because the ball's based. Wow, we rolled it! What an idiot! <laughs> oh my god, what a fucking idiot! That's brilliant! Oh well, the saw paid for itself this, this fucking half, didn't it? That was great.
<laughs> Some people there, there you go. He embraced the stuntiness, I guess. Oh, I'll see you, man. Why the fuck do you, why the fuck would you do that? The more tackle zones here, but then there's a uh, there's the tree there, so I don't I don't have the ball near the tree. Um. Make a make a screen with the trolls. No <laughs> oh, shit. That's BGSI. He wants to get the ball like this way, so he can blitz that way. Got him. Get out of town. <laughs> How could they improve Sunday teams? <laughs> get get people to get people to, to re-roll. <laughs> Greed re-roll against chainsaws when their ball carrier is based by a fucking troll. <laughs> um But yeah, uh that was a pretty good other cut, yeah, to be fair. Right, I've, so the question is whether I want to get him away from them, and I guess I do want to get him away from them. Like the most. Four, that would have been a pickup. Shit. They could improve stunty teams. Uh, hello, spine chair. Yeah, I guess give them two fanatics, like uh, sorry, two chainsaws, like the old days. But uh, I don't even think chainsaws are good, really. Although I mean, I was incredibly lucky game one with my chainsaw. Um, they're obviously the chainsaws are a lot better if you've got rerolls. Like the, the thing is, the the lack of rerolls made my chainsaw horrible. Um, so maybe I shouldn't have fielded him on defense. But then, if you don't feel, if I didn't field him now. He's made two cars, you know, already halfway through. So there's been a good chance of not fielding him at all. If uh, that's why I didn't, that's why I didn't uh, save the fanatic. So uh, yeah, drop the lone run trolls. Yeah, that, that's that that they should be because they're not they're not alone. <laughs> so um, yeah, dropping lone run things that aren't loners would be a good idea. Bribes, uh, rostered bribes, would be better than giving them a matchmaking disadvantage. <laughs> we all know who, whose fucking bright idea that was. Holy shit. So, yeah. Rostered, rostered uh, inducements. Um, would be good. But yeah, it's fine them being bad. They can still beat teams that don't have block, to be fair. So, like, they, you know, they don't have to be improved. It's fine that some teams are shit, isn't it? Right, hopefully this is a pal. Oh, baby. That was the one that basically didn't have to be a pal. But, um, you know, it being a pal was the, was the best. <laughs> right, just pick up with him, I think, and fuck off. Got a blitz, could I make a blitz first? Nah, I think I'll just re-roll the pick up here and fuck off. Oh god, don't even need to re-roll it. Um I'd like to block him. You could blitz him and base it, but then I can't actually activate the trolls without. Uh, so I can just four plus him. Doesn't matter, does it? So he probably just wants to blitz. Oh, 
baby. Get banged on. AV6 piece of shit. Just go for the three dice of any. Because if he'd done stupid, it just literally wouldn't have mattered. You could go there and then try to one dice the tree, but that doesn't seem worth it. Yeah, but they've got they've got really stupid, which while it's not really that much of a disadvantage on orc teams, it's horrible on goblin teams because you're losing goblins, aren't you? So um, no, Kurgol, there was a bug that it did um, make it go up, but um, now it's fine. I guess the jersey doesn't help, but yeah, they've all they've always got pointy hats. Um, yeah, they've always got pointy hats. But I guess it wouldn't look so bad if they were, weren't wearing white. <laughs> it was just a, it was just a uh, coincidence that I chose white. He's going for it. Look at that little shit. Oh man, no way. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh, he got injured though. Alright. I'll let him off seeing as he got injured. Will you at least throw one goblin if you go up by two points? Yeah. Yeah. If I go up by two, I'll throw a goblin. Can't say fairer than that. I don't even want to. I don't even want to two dice him because he'll just fucking beat me up afterwards. Can't surf him from there. He's on seven. Reroll on this pickup, then, eh? Oh, baby. And then. <laughs> Run away from the trees? Uh... Ah, shit. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you, Sion. Yeah, I was I was happy with that. I'd like to do some more with Flash, to be honest. Uh, especially now we've got the video editor. Could do one with uh, Mike Mike Davies, couldn't I? That's a good idea. Sam, the uh, the NAF president, if he's got Blood Bowl too. I don't know if he does or not. But I uh, could get him on the Discord and do a do another intro game with him. That'd be all right. He's made. He's got a YouTube channel. He's made some videos. He's throwing. He's throwing things. He knows how to play this game. Yeah, 
this knocks his players out. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> He's not standing up now. Needs reach. No, only base. So. Wah! Don't be defeated by a halfling. <laughs> <laughs> seen a go for it fail from a tree man before but there you go there's the animation pretty good animation now that gives me reroll i'm not going to try a three dice on a halfling again so uh let's get the touchdown <laughs> i love this match why is that falling why is that why have you fallen to, to watch the best the best nicest streamer in the world that was a that was a good that was a good animation as well wasn't it Yeah, red hat. Yeah, I could have gone red for the for the red hats. True. Ah, uh, so I only had two guys out, so I could have I could have saved a, a star for the second half. But it's I think it's risky to to try to save stars for the second half. No, it's only orcs or uh, dwarves or humans. <laughs> and blood balls, Mister Nice. So there you go. So yeah, 11. So yeah, if I hadn't played him, I could have had him at the, at the start here. But, you know, he, he did his job. To be fair, the Fnatic and the Goblin both did their part in, in turning him over, so it was all right. Fash is just the Albion player. He's not even an Albion streamer, is he? He's just an Albion player now. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's all right, isn't it? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. So two men up. It's all he does, Crumsley. <laughs> Crying a corner. Dark Elves beat my uh, beat my big guy team though. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dark Elves killed three players though. So that was something. Yeah, all right, fair enough in Kurgal, but mostly he doesn't. Mostly he doesn't stream. Um, right, what do I want to do? Blitz one. Block him. Blitz him, blitz him. Hope for the best. Yeah, you can still cry with breaths, yeah. Brilliant coaching. Oh, how many reels did he steal? Only steal, only stealed. Only stole two this half. So that's not so bad. Good, isn't it? Then Pogo being movement seven there, already paying dividends. Right, 3D him. Fuck. 3D him. You can get in the way of the blitz there.
You can assist him. Guess I've got to re-roll the pickup. With it being near the sideline. Nope. Excellent. There's only one that can be blitzed. Well, one can be blocked. He can be blocked anyway, though, so it's not so bad that he can be blitzed. You trade Dauntless for Dodge at level 1 Brett Blitzer. They'd be pretty overpowered then, I think, if they started with Dodge. But even then, not when you compare them to fucking Wood Elves. Can you know, when you compare any positional to a War Dancer, any overpowered thing seems quite alright. He's just going to hit him with a, gob with a Halfling, is he, or what? Yeah, they wouldn't even like you. You know, it, it, Blood Bowl's stupid that it has, it has Wood Elves. Oh, what happened with Inarian? Did he lose? Who, who was it against? Who, who was he playing with his uh, with his Wood Elves? I knew it was Inarian. Oh god, Hydra would be amazing. Oh shit. Oh, spoil it. Just spoil it for me. Just PM me or something. Undead. Oh, yeah, I thought the undead could win. I thought the undead could win because it was a pretty good... Although it was only normals, it was a pretty good team for... Uh... Oh, God, he can just surf me. Oh, my God. Fuck off. Wow. Well, that was a good play by him. Fair enough, but holy shit. Wow. <laughs> I was a fucking legend. That was that was a that was a, a pretty legend. pretty stunty play, fair play to him. Yeah. I thought the undead could do something. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't you couldn't call them favourites, obviously, because they're not wood elves. But um I thought they could have done something. Because although he's all normals, that's all you want against what else, wasn't it? Because there wasn't a load of blow. And the lack of, like, guard. He actually had a fair bit of guard, didn't he? Like, five or six guard. But lack of guard, not so bad against what else. I can't believe he didn't make the GFI. I mean, I, looking back, I can't believe I didn't make the GFI now. But, I mean, he really had to make the GFI after after making the surf. That's terrible that he didn't GFI. But, let's see who picks up the ball. Probably the um, guy on zero. Safe moves first. Could two dice the. No, no, he's got a guy hiding behind the troll, so I can't. So he goes for the pickup. He can't block anybody, really. So please don't fail. Typical in it. Oppo Oppo minus two D serves me. I can't two D surf him. Mm. 
Yeah, absolutely. The the trolls are pretty much dominated by the. Uh, dominated by the trees. But it's okay because the gob goblins are way better than halflings, aren't they? So, so it's not so bad. I guess I should have put these guys one square behind the troll zone, then just push them to a different place. He's got a minion reroll, so even making him GFI to blitz isn't that good. He's not, though. He's just, he's just content to knock out his own players. So that's alright. But I guess I guess that's the the attitude with with halflings, isn't it? Is you take all of the knockouts on your own throws for the occasional he lands, makes two GFIs, and red die surf somebody. It's not a not a game plan I can get behind, however. Four, five, six, seven. Seven versus five at the moment. Didn't even block him. Oh no, he threw, didn't he? I guess I could uh, go there and activate him, couldn't I? Try to blitz with him. Him GFIing into here, though, would be pretty bad. Stupid trolls. <laughs> okay, see you. See you, can't play. <laughs> Dodicles. Oh shit. Yeah, it's a bit problematic in making the GFI blitz. Just base two, two goblins. Well, probably kill one and face the other. Only twenty percent of dwarf plays are guard spammers. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, invent some bait and hide behind it. Yeah, excellent. It's probably true because the the like average number of games is like less than five or something, isn't it? So. Oh well, this is all right, isn't it? He can stand up. I could have actually helped him. I could have actually helped him. So he's stranded a bit. He could block. 
Maybe get him. Maybe not. Oh, fuck, I can't really run away too far. He's kind of kind of blocked myself there. Double GFI. I'd like the double GFI to be honest. But I'm still too close to the fucking tree. Could blitz him. Did it go for the top GFI? Block myself. Double one the GFI. Typical. Typical. But at least it was bad play punished. It's just I would like it if not all of my bad plays were punished. That's what I really like. If just not everyone was punished. Um, but no, last game it wasn't. So stop whining. Play better. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? The, the last turn ended with two ones, and this one started with two ones. <laughs> yeah. This might be a draw. I mean, at least I can't lose. That's, that's something. I guess. And goblins are a lot better than halflings when it comes to the linemen, isn't it? Obviously, trees are a lot better than trolls. But goblins are a hell of a lot better than halflings, so there's still maybe a chance to not lose. Maybe a chance to not lose. That was really fucking poor though. That blocked myself. That was really bad. Really fucking bad. I was getting a tee off on the goblins. At least that troll has a tackle zone. So, if I can just make it to him, I can be somewhat safe. I knew I shouldn't have come for that GFI. Fucking knew it. Like, the payoff wasn't even that big. I just wanted to. I just wanted to go there and, like, make it a bit easier next turns. But, yeah, I shouldn't have done it. It's still an easy two dice. Huh? Good. 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 His was bad because he didn't have the reroll for it. His was just his was just a greedy GFI there. I mean, mine was mine was poor by not positioning, so I didn't need to. But his was his was just sheer greed. Could blitz him, block him, and then go for the pickup there. You could go three and activate the troll. Greed is good. Block. Greed is right. 
green and then he works. could blitz, then he could re recover. So. No, no, it doesn't work, does it? Shit. I guess I don't need a blitz that guy anyway. Try to three dice, otherwise just dodge pick up. Four plus to three dice in. I don't hate it. Oh, baby. Gets the troll involved, doesn't it? Stupid turn last turn. Still half a chance now then. Three, six, seven. Seven goblins on the pitch and five halflings. So even though two are down, but then one of his is down, so. And obviously goblins are just better. a timely recovery by that troll, wasn't it? He's really fucked himself here, getting both trees on one troll. The tree hasn't rooted, no. That's why he's still got five rerolls on turn 13. Um, I mean, but to be fair, they don't have a loner, so he could always reroll it if they did. Ah, oh, there you go, it did root. Good timing, Tony. But yeah, he's got the rerolls, hasn't he? So They're unlikely to root when he's got so many rerolls. But I still think he's probably he's probably rolled all right for them. But it's absolutely huge, huge, uh, being able to re-roll them, isn't it? He's only got three turns to score now, so he's going to struggle just to get there, in, like in terms of movement now. So that that's good as well. Definitely time for the uh, goblins to sacrifice themselves to trees now, I think, at this stage. Why even go the extra wrong way? There's no need. Still dodging on a 3 plus. He's also blocked his way out after he picks it up, unless he hands off. Well, blocked his way in. <laughs> so he's made the same mistake as I made, pretty much. Now, realistically, in, in three turns, 
he's got one four players who can make it. This guy ain't scoring. The trees ain't scoring. So he can stand up. Troll can stand up. I could foul one of these almost. You could block him off to get the blitz from the troll. So maybe it's worth basing him. But then I could just base him with the follow up from him. So I guess get a safety. Base both of those. I mean, it's just literally safe moves first, isn't it? Hitting with the troll because three dice. Could go for three dice on this guy, but um, I'd rather not. Oh god, the uppercut's amazing, isn't it? Holy shit! Holy shit! The uppercut is amazing. Could base him and then go for the score. But I think I can go for the score anyway. So cover that. And then just potato. Now, but now that I have potatoed successfully, I could uh, try to base him. <laughs> that was a hell of an uppercut. That's a really good. That's a really good animation. To be fair. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. But um, I've never, I've never used goblins on an orc team. So. <laughs> And I haven't played many goblins on off teams, much less goblins that knock somebody over and don't follow up and break armor. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's a, it's a very rare occurrence, isn't it? People using goblins, making an armor break with goblins, and then not following up as well. So yeah, it's going to be a rare thing. I'd seen the one where they knock them down and follow a fair amount. Yay, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's got a reroll. Oh no, I've got dodge. Perfect. I mean, if this guy wasn't here, that was a really good decision to not base the ball. Because basing the ball would have just given us the free assist, wouldn't it? Whereas now... I like that move, not basing the ball. Right, safe moves first. Three, four, five, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. So if he stands there, he's safe. The only thing is this uh, either one of the trees throwing this guy. So, want more tackle zones on him. On that tree, isn't it? Now it's harder to clear the thing. And they could also throw this one, so it's probably worth fouling him. Whereas that animation, people have seen a lot because <laughs> people do foul with, uh, with oh, they, they, this one could just move. I should have based him. Oh, shit, he can just throw with him. That was dumb. I was thinking he could only throw with this one. But um, I was I, it, in my head, I do things like I base that guy. In my head, I base him, and then I just don't do it in the game. 
So the talking about it is not so good sometimes, but there you go. I guess I should just baste him with a goblin first, really. I'll, I'll, no, I'll try to stand up the troll because it was no dice other than standing. And... Oh, God. Really bad. So he's got a shot. He's got a shot with a TDM. But it's still 1 0 now. He's still 1, so that's all. Wow, he took a risk there. Didn't he not re roll on the landing? Because he was, he was banking on the armor not breaking. Wow. Fucking. And he got the pal! Fucking ballsy. Ballsy bastard. And of course he gets the angle. Ah, well. My fault for not defending properly. Yeah, I just thought I just thought he was he was you know, in my head I was standing him up and marking and I just didn't just hadn't done it. I could uh, I can throw somebody though. For a start. He can go there and then What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI, and then pass it. So Cheers, see you, Grindel. Got no rerolls. There you go. Roll a one on the first. <laughs> the first dice. Roll on the first step. He really can't score now, though. Even if he picks it up. I guess he could potentially pick it up, GFI to here, and then throw him and scatter in the end zone. I guess it's me. Oh, got out of safety as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, I really should have based him. Forgot I had the safety, that's really bad. Really bad. Don't deserve to get the 2 0, but there you go. Because he was he was closer to the end zone, um, I would have had to dodge through. And I would just rather blitz him, just because I'm right for him. I guess the dodge was better odds. Uh, it was the same odds, it was 8 out of 9, wasn't it? Uh, when you said last guy, I thought you meant the troll. Morgan's, I thought you meant the troll because... Well, in fact, I thought you meant the other tree man because I hadn't faced him. The chainsaw is pretty amazing. He also, he also looks like Texas Chainsaw Massacre with this color, I think. Yeah, last gobble. Ah, oh, well. Twice as many armor breaks. Pretty good. Out blocked. Got loads of star player points. Uh, goblins, 24 ones, 13 sixes. Nice. Going for it. One success, three failures. That seems that seems good, doesn't it? On a two plus. <laughs> the really stupid's unfair because a lot of them were four pluses, to be fair, because I just didn't care if they worked or not. Um... What was his take route? His take route was good to be fair. Twenty nine past two failed. So he did he did he did make good take route rolls. But um twenty eight ones, thirty four, thirty five. He definitely uh he definitely rolled alright. Um but there you go. He made that crucial mistake, didn't he, of the greed re roll. Greed re roll cost him on his drive. So funnily enough it was uh it was the secret weapons that won that game, just by getting punched. <laughs> oh, double! Oh man, movement eight would be really good. Movement eight would actually be really good for goblins. But then obviously block is like, how do you not take block? Whoa, that's tough, isn't it? Because he could also get shoot hands as well. 
like block sure hands would be amazing anyway so well that's that's a tough choice isn't it i mean you could get a movement nine goblin eventually couldn't you if you took that imagine a movement nine goblin with like sprint sure feet <laughs> a one turn a one turning goblin without needing to be thrown <laughs> well obviously you can't throw him but um God, that's a tough choice, actually. Bloodshot MA8. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on it. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna go block. To be fair, to be fair, because it's me, I'm probably gonna go block. But um, movement would re movement eight would be really good because goblins are a bit are a bit fucking slow. To be fair, he's just gonna get sidestep. There's nothing else. Literally nothing else for them to take. So, um, right, that wasn't bad. Could get an apple just to, for the first KO or a 15th goblin or something. But, um, oh, God, I could take Mighty Blow. Nah, nah, nah. The trolls are enough. The trolls are enough Mighty Blow for the team. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.